with the number four overall selection of the 2023 MLS Super Draft presented by Adidas. The New England Revolution select a midfielder and generation Adidas signing from the University of Maryland, Josh Bulma. And this is no surprise. That's four for four. And Bulma, highly rated guy. Sasha Swarovski has said, whoa, he's one of the best I've had. Artlist I.O. After Joshua Bulma's name was announced, a sports bar in New York erupted into cheers. The 21-year-old forward gathered his family and friends to enjoy a moment of a lifetime. He had dreamed of this since he was a young boy. But when was his dream born? Let's go back. We are now in Accra, Ghana, a 13 hour and 35 minute flight away from Boston. Ghana is the home to international star athletes, especially football players. Americans call it soccer. Bulma is outside of his home doing what most eight year olds do, play all day, not even knowing who may be watching. Um, his coach saw me and he thought, oh, this kid might have, you know, some talent. He might have some, you know, some big, so, you know, he, he brought me my first cleats and, you know, that, those were my first, you know, soccer memory. And that's when I really started playing soccer in a very serious way and like joined a, you know, organized club and everything. And, you know, just that was just the start of the journey. The rest of his journey can inspire a nation. Boma grew up in a household where education came first. At the same time, his parents stressed the importance of having a strong faith in God and working hard. With all these combined, he was exposed to life-changing opportunities. He joined the Rising Stars in Africa program, which trains gifted soccer players across the continent. Like a star, he shined. He got the attention of Coach Owen Finberg, who coached at South Kent Academy for 19 years, a private all-boys boarding school in Connecticut. Pretty early during that time period, it was, was easy to tell that you know, Joshua had certainly some special talents soccer wise, but I think more than that was a very uh, focused and humble young man. And, you know, could tell had a real desire for uh, getting the most out of himself and, you know, trying to do what he could with his talent to, you know, to make something of it that would, would open up some different opportunities for, for him. And he came to my house, met my family. That was super great because obviously, like, my family is still back home in Ghana and I had to come up here. So he kind of served as a father figure, to be honest, for me, like, coming to America. And, like, as well as my coach, he just helped me through everything and got me in touch with my host family and everything else. Many parents put their children on a yellow cheese bus to go to high school. Not usually a plane especially if the plane is crossing the North Atlantic Ocean into a different country. I don't know about you, but it couldn't be me. Boma packed up and flew almost 15 hours away for preseason. I got to JFK and got off the plane and I was like, wow, like they didn't warn me. I mean, they told me it was going to be around like in the 20, 30 degree, but obviously we use Celsius in Ghana, so I was confused as to what they meant by that. So I just wore like a little flannel and then like a khaki pants thinking, oh, it's going to be 20 degrees, you know, something like, like it's, it's nice, hot. <laughs> so I get down and I'm like, nah, this is not 20 degrees. As soon as he got off the plane here in the U.S., he, uh, he was driven straight to campus and then was put right into my room. And that was the beginning. I think the first memory I have of him and I was that night he didn't have anything for like his bedding. So I had my mom run from home to bring him pillows and blankets. That was Landon Sartori, his teammate and friend from Lakeville, Connecticut. His family treated Boma as one of their own. They were the host family he didn't know he needed. The relationship goes way back like first day of high school was when we kind of just clicked and bonded and just 
became friends. We did everything. Like we played at South Game together. We played at Black Rock together. We were training that whole um, COVID period because it's just us. Like we couldn't come in contact with people. So it was just two of us just grinding it out. And I remember all those days. Like it was, it was a lot of work and and a built a bond. It's gonna last a lifetime for sure. Coach Owen emphasized team chemistry. The team ate meals together, study halls, road trips, celebrated birthdays, and went through tough times together. Their bond contributed to their success on the field. Balma was very strong academically and graduated high school early. After choosing from a list of 10 schools, Balma committed to the University of Maryland. He did not compete his first season, but instead trained at a completely different level. So I got in and I saw the whole thing and I was totally blown away because like it's like you're playing with men now like guys like 24 25 you know like older guys and stuff like that and guys were like built like you see like six foot whatever three like guys 300 pounds not 300 pounds is a drag but but like really big guys um yeah and, and that kind of like took me by surprise I was like wow so it's really like you know the next step like this is it really like I kind of took on the challenge. At 20 years old, Boma was named Big Ten Freshman of the Year. He had 18 appearances during his first official season. Four goals later, he found himself at the MLS Combine ready for the next step. Even though he performed well, it was agreed upon that he needed another year in college. You know, he had he had been to the MLS Combine the year before, and he was the number one freshman in the country. And you know, certainly I felt, um, you know, was was talented enough to be a pro, but, you know, the teams wanted him to go back to college for one more year. And, um, you know, but then, you know, it was pretty evident that that he was going to be selected. He got offered a generation Adidas contract, which means basically that, you know, some of the top teams in the draft order were, were going to select him uh, if he was available to them. I was open-minded whatever that came through I, I was ready for it and it came that I had to go back so I was like you know just go back run it back um wasn't even really thinking about the draft like that because my first time I was really pushing for that draft and I saw that maybe when I do that too much it might affect the way that I perform on the field and that might you know end up not making me get to that point so what I could do is try to help the team win and he did just that. In his second season, an assist from Boma helped the team win the conference championship. I kind of sprung out wide, so my teammate found me, took the ball, and I looked up. I saw, like, multiple of our guys in the box. And I was like, you know, just put this back post. Just give your teammates a chance to kind of, you know, do something with this ball and see what happens. So I just, you know, I just whipped it in there. And before I knew it, one of my teammates, Stephen Capetti, like I know that's like one of the greatest moments in his life. But yeah, he met the ball, better, boom, far post, goalie had no chance. And it was just a surreal yeah, feeling. Yeah. You want it, gotta work for that bag, go get it one day, you can break it. Artlist IO. We're back at where we began. Draft day 2023. It's in the mid-50s, Chinatown is booming, and the vibes are high. The New England Revolution shoots their shot at the left-wing attacker and makes it. You know, me personally, like, it just kind of took me back to my days in Ghana and the academy and stuff like that and all the things that I really sacrificed and put into it. And, like, just talking to family back home and, like, having them also share that moment with me from far away it was just... That's a real feeling. Like, I don't know how to describe that one, but it was definitely, like, top of the list. I believe they had the 11th or 10th pick, and they actually traded up to get him. So it was out of the blue. And we had scarves for him, and I had five scarves in my hand of the teams that were supposed to pick him. And then the Revs traded up, and we were like, no way. This can't be real. <laughs> Is exciting. Did you have a rev scarf? Yeah, we did, but we put like all the ones aside that we didn't think were we're gonna call him. So I had a a, a handful of a few, and then 
all that happened. I had to scurry over and grab it, but it was definitely the perfect scenario. Bulma's professional debut was an unforgettable day. All of his supporters gathered outside the stadium to tailgate before the game. Coach Owen interviewed Landon for an Instagram video. They spoke his debut into existence. And how are you feeling about uh, Gillette Stadium and, and seeing uh, your classmate Joshua Bulma tonight? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. I mean, when you work with guys like him, you can play here, so that's... Could could be a MLS league debut tonight. What do you think? You think he's got I think it so. in the cards. I hope so. Yeah, it's about time. Him and I were like, we kind of looked at each other and we were kind of picturing it be the perfect moment. And then whistle blew. Game started, and I think it was tied. They were it was they were going back and forth. He went to the the center to get subbed in and we knew. I was going in and they were sitting in the suite, so like I kind of just looked over and like, I was like, yeah, you know, like this is amazing that, you know, they're here to witness this right now. Very proud to make my first MLS debut. Good crowd out here, you know, undefeated. Let's keep going, man. Let's keep stacking them up. Let's go refs. Gillette Stadium was filled with love, support, and applause. Boma performed well in the second half. As the season continued, the Revs went through a few tough coaching changes. Boma then spent more of his time playing with the second team. The league's fifth leading goal scorer. What a pass to Boma. Boma! One nil New England. Adebayo Smith, a delightful pass and a majestic strike from Boma opens the scoring in the 40th minute. Obviously one of the things that makes a huge difference in your professional career is do you get the opportunity to show what you can do? And, you know, that's obviously the stage that he's at now. He's he's had a good sort of lead in, but now it's about, you know, getting on the field and, and producing, and that will determine a long way to, to what the next few years hold for him. He has so much potential to go play at a higher level in Europe or for his national team eventually that I just think this is only the beginning. I've I've worked with him. I said for we practice for I don't know how many hours out on that my local field here and I just I just know he has so much more than what he's bringing right now. So everyone's got to watch out because <laughs> I know what he can do and hopefully he gets the opportunity soon. Boma began playing soccer at five years old. Now he's 21, a professional soccer player and still pursuing his college degree. One thing Coach Owen said that really stuck with me was his focus and determination matched his talent. In other words, talent is simply not enough. I asked Boma, what does it take to be a pro? Being ready to learn, that, that could take you a long way. And I'll say just work hard, man. Like hard work, obviously. People mention that a lot. But it's really true. Like whatever you sow, you're going to reap that. So just put in the time and you're going to get it back for sure. So this week, I'll just be ready to work hard. I'll say prayer. Pray as well, just pray because God, you know, is the one is the ultimate coach, ultimate decider. So everything that you do, just make sure like he's involved. My name is Tyra Brooks, Boston University News Service. It's been my pleasure. Artlist IO. I got it, no need to look all in a bag Something like this cause I work so hard I'm the best, I only speak facts In the store I'm popping them tags A limited silhouette stack Cloud chasing for the cash grab